Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now recently on my channel, I've been taking a look at a whole bunch of new products from the company Overmont. Overmont is a brand whose products I've covered quite a bit on my channel, most specifically outdoor hiking, camping, and backpacking gear. Things, for example, like cook systems for maybe car camping and even the backpacking scenario, trekking poles, things like that. But in today's video, well, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Because in this box, well, I have an all-terrain folding wagon. What do I need an all-terrain folding wagon for? Well, when Overmont reached out and asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at their products, they did suggest a number of their products. I thought this might be useful for a number of reasons. First off, going to the beach, it would be fantastic. Dragging gear around your yard, it would be fantastic. Car camping, very, very useful. Get your gear, put it in here, bring it over to your site, get set up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bust this out of the box. We're gonna break it open here in the studio, get a look at the overall features. Then I'll get it out into the field for some practical field use. Then we'll come back around and I'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Overmont who did provide this for review. So as we get this video underway, I do have to say I've been very happy with Overmont products in general in the past, but most specifically, I've been very, very impressed at their new product lineup. Very nice, robust, well-built, and extremely useful products and i think that's what we're going to find here with this all terrain wagon so as we get into this here right away everything just very well packaged up now i'm not exactly sure what we're going to get into here but it does look like we're going to need just a little bit of assembly so honestly <laughs> i'm kind of glad and lucky at the same time that I decided to get into this here because I am planning on utilizing this at length this weekend and I need to make sure that this is set up and ready to go. So as I remove everything from the box, you'll see a number of large components, different bits and pieces. And at this point, that seems to be pretty much it. So from what I can tell, this here is the main body of the wagon itself. Keep in mind, again, this is a foldable design. So here, the main body all folded up. So pretty straightforward here. Um, very heavy duty right away. Very nicely made, nice rivets, nice heavy duty plastic. The joints looking sound. The fabric, if this is like the other products I've been looking at recently, is very, very nice. So, so far, uh, let's see here, we have at least a wheel, which as you take a look at this wheel, check this thing out. I mean, this is huge. This is a large wheel as I get a measurement here, about six and a half inches in diameter. Just, I mean, very, very robust, excellent tread pattern. It's like a super hard plastic, but nice and wide, wider than my hand, which that's about three and three quarter inches wide with a nice tread pattern you can see here. This is obviously gonna get installed, which two of these do come with locks. So you can see locking wheels here. Now as we get the main body flipped around, this is the end with the handle. So as you take a look here, the end with the handle, having the ball bearings and the ability for the wheels to swivel. And then on the back, they are fixed. So on the front, we are going to pay attention to the details here because the wheels with the locks do spin. So those will go right on the front setting those down and easily into place. So that is very simple and extremely straightforward. Plenty of room there. They do slide down and into place. And then the ones in the rear, I think you just kind of buy yourself a little bit of room here. And again, clicking down, very simple. Again, on both sides. There you go. Now you might ask yourself, well, can these come back out? And the answer is yes, they can. If you look at the sides here, there are buttons. So that button there depressing 
which does allow you to pull that back out. So that's very simple. That's nice. Now that we have this down on the ground, I'm basically going to expand this. So you'll see literally just opening this right up, pressing down in the middle and ba-boom, we are off and running. Now there is one more piece to consider here. There's also an insert. So as you take a look at this here, the insert, pretty straightforward. This can go right on the bottom. This probably wraps around the wagon when I go to store it away. So uh, in essence, I'm gonna make sure that this is all tidy. And I'm actually gonna put all the Velcro face down. Now you can see that's gonna help keep everything nice and rigid and open while I use this, create some padding on the bottom and helps this maintain shape. As we rotate this around, this will have a number of different features. Like for example, here you can see there is a sleeve. Now my gut tells me that I can probably pull this down and then fold it back up on the outside and get full advantage of that and then basically tie off these straps to the buckles. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Which now you can see on the outside, this makes much more sense. Leveraging these buckles, you can take the excess and just kind of tuck it away or I could fold it over and lash it through again. That would probably work just well. Get a couple of pockets here with the mesh and then you end up with a nice large zippered pocket here. So that's cool. That's gonna help you with some basic organization. Now, the other thing that I think you could probably do is if you had something like a beach chair or an umbrella, slide it right in there and carry that right on the side. And that would be fantastic. This is clearly adjustable, gives you different overall size if you need it. So that's gonna make a nice add-on platform on the side of the wagon. Rotating the wagon around to the other side, again, you have some pockets, so that could be like a water bottle holder or a little accessories. You'll see now that that's taking shape, you do end up with two of these, so one on each side. That's fantastic. The entire sort of inside does look like it comes off of the frame, so if you had to clean this, wash it, dry it out, something like that, it appears as though you have that ability. The handle on the front does articulate, so you have the articulating handle there. You can see that works just fine as you go to move this around. There's a little bit of play in this handle here. Uh, I will be very interested to see how long this lasts. If you take a look, this does say press, which right here is how you collapse this. So again, as you press that, you'll see it depresses the handle and allows you to collapse it. And as we pull it back out, that clicks into place. So this to me is the one liability. Eh, it's not too bad actually. Now that I look at it, it's not like it's this bar that's moving. It's just kind of starting to pivot and that's on that nice heavy duty hardware. So this probably won't be an issue as long as you're careful. Now as we spin this around again, looking at those wheels, these are the locking wheels. So step down, that does lock. And in both cases, those lock which you'll see it's sliding on my floor because it's a little slippery, but the wheels are definitely locked. Stepping down, unlock, there you go. So very effective so far. This seems really, really nice. And so now that we have this built and ready to go, let's get outside and use this in some practical field use. <laughs>
So all right guys, there you have it. A look at the Overmont All-Terrain Wagon. Generally speaking, a very effective tool and in my particular case using this as sort of I would say my general utility cart. Now there are of course other options, wheelbarrows, garden carts, things like that, but this is going to be sort of that all-purpose all-terrain option where you can use it in a number of different scenarios. So unfortunately I didn't get to test this on sand but to me that would be the other place to try this out. The wheels are nice and wide, good overall diameter and should be able to make it across sand reasonably. Now one thing I am going to say, it can be a little bit noisy. The wheels are less rubber, more of a plastic kind of feel. So it is going to be a little bit noisy on surfaces like the pavement, like on rocks and things like that. You can see as I was working through my yard, a little bit bumpy, but at the same time, not a big deal. It's absolutely perfect for these simple tasks. Now I do like the fact that I can work out of this. I like the fact that it becomes a platform. And what I really like is that when I'm putting things aside, they're not going on the ground where I can kick them, step on them, lose them. They're going in a controlled place where I can keep track of them, move them around, move them from A to B, get them put away for the night in the garage without too much of a problem. So from that perspective, this has worked out very well. And I do think I'm gonna use this for automotive tasks. I'm gonna use it for gardening and simple things around the house. You can see I clearly used it to tote around my wood. So generally, very, very good. This is gonna get dirty and dingy over time, but that's fine. That just means I'm using it. And so again, to the people at Overmont, thank you so much for providing this for review and for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is going quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.